Okay, today's video is gonna be a collection video. Yay! No, but seriously, today's gonna be a video, a collection video. Um, a lot of you guys know I have a whole bunch of stuff in my basement, so I thought I'd get box by box, starting with box one, of course, and pretty much show you what's inside, uh, not only for your benefit, but for mine also, because during WrestleMania weekend, a lot of the legends will be there, and a lot of these classic superstars are of those guys. So, I got this big box here, if you can see it, but it's full. I'll probably try keeping this video under, I don't know, 15 minutes. But I'll give a backstory on how I got it as well. Very short and to the point. But, uh, yeah, okay. So the first thing is Kevin Nash NWO set. And this I got from uh, Salt and Battery, historians will know about Adam, who uh, myself and Legend Killer went to his house after he was selling his whole collection. Picked this up along with the other three, sorry, two, Hogan and uh, Scott Hall. So this is Kevin Nash. And uh, WWE DVD board game number two and number one is here as well. Just got those from Walmart. Uh, I played the first one, second one, not so much. And if I played the first one, you would know why I didn't play the second one. This one is a ripped and ruthless Stone Cold Steve Austin Series 1. Uh, this is the same thing Adam gave, got this. It comes with a little card there. And this is from 97. So, you know, they're, uh, I don't know if they're rare or not, but don't see them around too much. This one is one of my favorite ones. You can see it's a little, it's not open but the lid just got to tape that back together it's a collector's edition sting eight inch figure is it eight inch uh yeah eight inch so that and then uh i have opened it i'll open another video but it's it's the, his jacket's made from like leather and it's all the fabric and everything a really nice figure one of those ones that you have to get signed by him if you ever do meet him i think they released a goldberg one like that as well uh, this one, Bret Hart, this is Bring Fighters, and uh, my, oh, so this is pretty much like, there's four guys in one series, you connect the four corners, which will create a wrestling ring, which will you have a fatal four-way match, and in this series, you have Chris Benoit, Booker T, Scott Steiner, and Bret Hart, and I think this Bret Hart does something, you press a button here, and he does a diving elbow, according to this little image on the back. Next, this is not wrestling related, but this is Rocky, Ivan Drago figure. Uh, this I got at Walmart, which I should have got them all because now these are really rare and they go for at least 80 to 100 bucks, some of these figures. But I uh, got this one. One knows one of my favorite movies. This I got from Legend Killer 410 for Christmas. Uh, he, this is a John Cena, Chris Jericho 2-pack from WrestleMania 25 set. And, uh, yeah, not much more to say. It's actually nice. I don't know what, uh, I kind of got this signed by Jericho when I met him. Bring Jade along. She gets whatever you want signed. Next, I got for Christmas. You can see I still have the tape on there from the gift wrapping. Vince McMahon, Series 28, Ruthless Aggression. Uh... A lot of you know, Vince McMahon is a rare figure to get. And I think this is the one where they gave the one of 500s and some of the, the inserts. This isn't one of them, obviously. So this is one. I think I only have two Vince figures, this one and the classic superstars. But there's that. Uh, this one, CM Punk. This one is the bonus microaggression series where it comes with a little mini CM Punk. And that I got from Walmart as well. Back in the day, when collecting figures was a cool thing, once this is a poster of uh, Kelly Kelly. Not sure how that got in there, but who cares about her? Next, you got uh, Steel Steps. Not sure where these came from, but whatever. This one is going to come in handy. You see, another Christmas present from uh, the No Way Out series. No Way Out, as a lot of people want to criticize my somewhat accent. Finley, probably he's going to be at Wrestlemania weekend, so I'm going to keep that one on the side. This is uh, 
Well, nice gap in his tooth. They really showed that in the figure. You can see his epic gap in the tooth. Next, we have Ric Flair uh, Unchained Fury, which I believe is from 2002. Yeah. And I think this is the series when the draft happened, if I'm not, never before, yeah, this is what it is. This is like first time figure series. So they released a whole set of guys that they've never released figures for. So in this series you had Hurricane Helms, Rob Van Dam, Booker T, Lance Storm, Ric Flair, and Tajiri. So this is the first WWF figure made of Ric Flair, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, I don't need that. Next... Salt and Battery Historians, RFI, Rare Figure Inventory, Episode 1. This was the very first figure I uh, reviewed. And uh, not much more to say. Jericho and his epic code pants. 12 inch, is this 12? Very, very uh, epic footlong figure. And this series had Elijah Burke, Carlito, Undertaker, and Chris Jericho. And got that at Walmart. Still rare, I believe. Not too sure. Oh, here's another Vince McMahon figure. I guess I had more than I thought. I think Legend Killer got me this as well when he was in Montreal. Uh, this is the Ringside Collection. I guess, yeah, this one they released managers, referees, and uh, series had Sonny, Vince, a referee, just says referee, doesn't say who, and Sable. So, there you go. Next, WrestleMania 22, this is a cool one. Shawn Michaels dressed up as Hulk Hogan. Uh, this one I got at Adam's house, I saw it, and I'm like, man, that's pretty awesome. So, that one pretty much speaks for itself. Next, we have MVP, not sure why I got this. I think this is one of those things where it's just like, oh, they had it, might as well just pick it up. Everything's gonna fall soon. Almost done. We're more than halfway done this. Next is uh, a rare one. Two-pack. Eddie Guerrero and JBL. Uh, this one has the Guerrero Scarface shirt. And JBL comes with a little cowboy hat. No title, though. But I heard this goes for some big bucks on eBay. And this series, actually, had Rico and Charlie Haas and Matt Hardy and Lita. Why 2004, when they were going through some problems, I think. Next, we have a New York Rangers, Mike Richter, McDonald's hockey head. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. A little faded. It's from like 90-something. 90, 90 Shows you how long I've been eating McDonald's for. Cool. Next, we have a Big Show exclusive limited edition figure boxer set. This is Mania 24 time that came out. And on the back, you have his highlights, his credentials his credibility as a champion, but he's wearing boxing gloves. So there goes his credibility. Big Show the Boxer. <laughs> now here's some epic, this is, this is like Great Kali. The figure he wore after he won the World Heavyweight title. He wore this little thing around his neck. And uh, you know why I picked this up, because he's a Hall of Famer in the making. Now they just need a Jinder Mahal figure, this is pretty cool. I should have got this signed by him. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll take this to Mania with me. Cool, bro. Next, uh, this is a little bent. I don't appreciate that. Red Heart, Series 2, WWF Superstars. A little bent, but. Uh, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, which glows in the dark. Red Heart, Vader, Owen Hart, and Ultimate Warrior is in this set. And I do believe I have this whole set. Just not in this box. Next, Santino Morella, Series 35. Uh, I think this is one of Santino's first. This is probably why I picked this up. Probably got it at Walmart. Next, we got the Jobber of uh, Arn Anderson. This is like a random classic superstar sitting inside. Anyways, we got Arn. Uh, possibility of uh, access session. Maybe I'll bring this along with me. Next, uh, Rocky Three Thunderlips. Uh, this is actually not as rare as I would have hoped, but Thunderlips, Hulk Hogan, Rocky Three. Another Hulk Hogan figure from WCW. 
Power Slam WCW wrestlers. Uh, has Goldberg, and it says kick me. That's cool. So you kick him, and I guess the wall breaks. They have a Sting one here, and Goldberg one, and on the back they show Sting again. Anyways, this series has um, Goldberg, Hawk, which looks like Sandman. Roddy Piper, Sid Vicious, Kevin Nash, Buff Bagwell, Sting, Dennis Rodman, and Canyon. Huh. They have some weird stuff coming with this. I don't know if you can glance at that real quick. It's a little funny. Next is, we've got one, two, three, four figures left. Series six of the autographed uh, signature series, gold. Why is McFoley all yellow? That wasn't me. Some mustard stains on his shirt, it looks like. And uh, it comes with, not a real autograph, but a little signature auto thing on his leg. And uh, I think Legend Killer got one as well. I think of The Rock, he has. Next, Captain Lou Albano. And uh, same set as Arn Anderson, which is probably why he's in here. Next is the WrestleMania 2000 set with the Hardy Boys, and I do have two, actually I think I have all of them. Yeah, this one has the Hardy Boys take uh, Undertaker McFoley and Rock and, uh, what's his name, Triple H. And it has like, their defining uh, moments, almost. It's called Famous Scene anyway. And you put your eyes through there, and you can see this image as if it was like, cool or something. Next is WCW Ringmasters Lionheart Chris Jericho. Now this is what I was planning on getting signed by him, but I decided to get um, something else. I think I don't forget. I think I got the, the, the world title signed instead. But this is one definitely get signed if I ever do meet him again. Oh, he even comes with a little lion. <laughs> and last is a Jeff Hardy figure, which is R3 Tech. Uh, this is when they were promoting the real scan headset, which actually you can tell they did a really nice job with this. One of the nicer figures I've seen of Jeff Hardy. The head scan, and then it says on the side, real voice, real reaction. And in this series, you have Undertaker, Edge, Rock, Jeff Hardy, Steve Austin, and The Big Show. And that's everything of this box, at least. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully I didn't bore you to death. But, uh, got a couple figures I can take to Mania with me. And until next time...